2.2 beta 3. This came out today from Apple. It also came out with a public beta and Xcode 7.2 beta. And if you go into photos, you'll see it was pretty small. I took a screenshot of it and it was 211 megabytes. Now, if you're on the public beta, it might be 1.4 gigabytes. Now, according to the notes, there's not a whole lot new going on here. Maybe some behind the scene fixes, things like that. But the actual notes hint that this might be the gold master or that would be really soon and that means that's the final build prior to the public release and this is really not a significant update from anything you see in fact there's only a really small portion of it that you can see but along with this comes safari view controller which allows a pop-up safari window to be used in third-party apps that's that's something that's built into xcode and you can program if you create apps and along with that it allows some changes so instead of hitting done you can actually use the swipe thing here where you swipe to the side and it allows that. Now there's a couple bugs that they note as well and let me show you the actual build number. Right here is the build. It's 9.2 13C71 on the iPhone 6S Plus. Now let's go back. The actual build of this really doesn't seem too much different. As far as the Safari view controller goes, that's not really anything big for most people. If you go into Safari and you reload the page, one of the updates, and this was on the last one, is if you hold the, the refresh button, you can also reload it without content blockers. So if you have content blockers enabled through the App Store, you can reload the site without it. So that's real handy. Other than that, you're not going to see a whole lot of differences. There's a lot of bug fixes. A lot of people have been saying that it's faster and there's a bunch of fixes for things like AT&T number sync, Wi-Fi calling feature, bug fixes for iCloud keychain, Apple Watch syn syncing and pairing fixes, and audio quality when streaming to stereo systems. Those are basically some bug fixes, but there's not anything really big that we see here. I'm assuming this update really affects more along the lines of the iPad Pro, and that's supposed to come out uh, either tomorrow or later this week. So we'll be taking a look at that. But really, you're not going to see a whole lot of update fixes. Uh, you may see some speed and improvement with multitasking. Uh, I really haven't had any issues here at all with that. But being on a 6S Plus, that may be part of the reason. So there's not really any issues there. I haven't had any slowdowns or anything along those lines. For those of you that are always asking about my wallpapers, I share those on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see them there, and they're shared under media, and you can grab them there. If you want a higher resolution version, let me know that in the comments below. Maybe I can do something else as far as that goes. But basically, that's it. I took this image. Let me show you on the home screen. Uh, it's just a picture at a local park, and it looked pretty nice, so I took a picture of it with this phone, actually, so I thought it was really nice, but I can post those in the on my Twitter feed and then uh, maybe somewhere higher resolution if you want. But again, let me know in the comments below. If you found anything else aside from what I've mentioned with iOS 9.2 Beta 3, let me know in the comments below there as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.